What's up guys, B Digi Crypto here. We are on our way, doing a little hour and a half commute, about 60 miles away. Um, headed to pick up some S19s, 104 terahash machines. Stoked, found a couple of them used. Or actually one of them is brand new. The other one he says was only ran for a couple months, so we'll see. They look super clean from the pictures, so I believe them, but we're on our way, so. Stick with us. All right, so this guy is meeting me at an airport in his hangar. So I'm gonna go meet them right now, check these bad boys out, and then load them up. So let's do that. I don't think he wants me filming, so give me a sec here and then we'll check back in once I got these bad boys. All right guys, we are back after almost three and a half hours of driving. Glad that's all over. Traffic a little bit, wasn't too bad. We got these things here. There they are, two Bitmain. S19J Pros, 104 tera hash, one brand new, the other one hardly used. He only used it for a couple months, he said, before he had to move and then never set it back up. But yeah, there they are. So we're gonna get them all unloaded and then we will unbox them and check them out. So stick with us here. We got these bad boys unloaded. It's a mess in here. Wagon full of mining stuff. Extra PSUs. Other rigs. But yeah, command center over there. But let's get these things unboxed and check them out, or at least the one. unboxed in all its glory it is pretty darn clean the only thing I noticed we got a couple some corrosion going on not a big deal depending on where these things are ran you know like this guy was fairly close to the coast so you know a lot of humidity in the air and salt and so on from the ocean and whatnot so in that case you know, they tend to corrode. You can see it right on the edge right there a little bit, you know. But other than that, this thing is darn clean. Can't complain. Not not too much dust, you know. So, darn stoked. But yeah, there we go. Stepping up to the big leagues. Big boy BTC miner. There we go. Um, got two uh, hookups for the power supply. Going to run... C13, C14 cable to a PDU like this guy. Remember, if you guys are gonna run these things at home, they are 240 volt, they require. So, um, you know, we got this PDU hooked up to a 30 amp breaker, so we're good to go there. Um, but yeah, not bad. Definitely stoked. We scored these things for pretty cheap, traded in some GPUs, got some cash, and then jumped it into this guy so i think we paid about around 1650 dollars um per unit like i said one was brand new this one was you know hardly used other than that um i mean you look back at what even a year ago i think panda did a video i'll try and find that and throw it up on the screen somewhere right now but he did a video and uh what was it uh crypto miner bros or whatever they sent him uh the same unit and i think they had it listed for you know 12 grand or something a year ago so it's insane 
you know, the prices of these things or whatever. This guy said he spent, when I talked to him, he said he spent $22,000 on both these units. So $11,000 a piece. And he dumped them to me for $3,300. So insane what people spend at the top of the market for these things and what some people lose. You know, he should have just held on to them for another couple of years and then flipped them again. He would have got his money back. But, oh well, um, his loss, my gain. So, but yeah, definitely stoked on this. We're going to get these things set up and mining, do a little setup video or whatnot for you guys. But shoot, I appreciate you guys hanging out, watching, checking the video out. If you like what you see, if you like crypto mining crypto, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, leave us a comment below, and we will catch you next time. Peace.